What's going on guys? Welcome back to Rambling Garage. We're doing another Rambler video. It's going to be the, se the theme of the, the winter, I think. Uh, working on the Rambler. Got it here in the garage. Got a seat out of the car. And that's what we're going to be working on today is we're going to start by cleaning up the interior. I don't know if we're going to get around to actually uh, starting to recreate the interior, but we are going to refinish this interior and then we're going to do the top in the spring. Hopefully if I can find someone that'll do it decent or else we're just going to do it on our own. Um, so let's turn around, let's look at uh, what we have here. I'm kind of excited to do the, the interior. I got this seat out. I'm gonna show you guys taking out the rest of them and uh, we'll see what's under all this stuff and see how much floor work we gotta do. I do know that we need some patches. I don't know how bad it's gonna be. You guys are gonna judge my patch skills when we get to it and that's fine. It's just gotta be solid. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, this car is all about learning for me and having something that I can continue to learn on. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, so enough talking, let's turn around and let's check out what we got. All right, so we've got the driver's seat out here. Um, seat has obviously seen some better days. Not ideal, uh, but actually not really that terrible. It's pretty solid. This stuff is all just normal wear and tear type stuff. Um, taking a look in the car, I pulled up a bit of the carpet just to see what we're working with here. And everything seems relatively solid um, as I'm scraping away rust, but like that's still solid metal there it's just rust build up uh i did break off a couple uh bolts trying to get the seat out there where is the one over here i don't even know um i think right here broke that one out that one came out free that one came out free as you can see and then the other one is in the i don't know it's in there somewhere so i gotta get those out so that we can mount these uh everything up here looks pretty good until we get up to right in there so i'm gonna dig in there eventually we'll patch that uh, next thing is going to be taking out the center console. Uh, with that, we're going to have to take out the other seat. And the back seat, the seat is... That just pops out, I think. So it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, the back rest, I believe, pops from the inside. So again, shouldn't be uh, too bad. The back seat's really not that bad. We're going to follow a similar pattern, but not the same. Uh, make it a little bit unique. And uh, I'll show you guys what we're going to do for that in the future, but uh, as of right now, we're working on getting all this cleaned up. We're gonna get all the, the rest of the stuff out of here so we can vacuum it, scrub it, and re get ready to patch and POR15 it. That way we can get everything put back in, brand new carpet and everything, and then we'll uh, look at doing the seats. So I got the center console out and some of the carpet here. Um, I'm just gonna pull back a little bit of the carpet and see what we got here. Probably need a razor blade. I was really hoping I'd be able to find the uh, factory build sheet. But it's kind of looking like it might not. I need a, a Phillips set for this. I'll grab one. Just kind of noting where some of these screws are. Obviously, we've got a plastic panel being held on here. There's a couple here. Final rough, how about that? Woo! So we got a couple holes back here. The floor's a little soft in between. We should be able to fix those pretty easily though. Cut them out a little wider and patch them. Uh, up until then, we look pretty decent, I think. The driver's side floor. We'll take a closer look. All right, driver's side floor. We got uh, these were where they had the the plugs. You see one down there, kind of that fell through. Uh, what the plugs are for is when they dip these whole uh, when they dip the whole cars. As I understand it, these are drain holes. Uh, so, like Jeep people, when they have their this kind of going on, they pull their drain plugs if they're they get in some deep water or something. Uh, we don't need these. We're not going to be in deep water. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to cut them out. I'm going to just create a little panel that'll go over both because the floor feels a little soft here. And 
you know, as I push around. I don't think that's the floor. That might be just the metal. So I might just cut out these spots and uh, put a little over it, seam seal it, and close it up. Um, this isn't, I'm not accurately restoring this thing. I just need it to be nice and I want it to be sealed up. So um, yeah, we'll probably do that. But the rest of the floor looks okay. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there's some of the holes up in here that we'll, we'll clean up and seam seal or something. We'll get them all sorted out. So that's that so far. That's not too bad. I kind of knew that was there, just poking around underneath. Um, back there is some surface rust, but nothing too serious. So all in all, that seems like pretty easy work. And uh, anyone like questioning seam sealer, you can see they, they use it here. So I'm not too worried about using seam sealer. This is all seam sealer of sorts. So they used it plenty all the way down through here. You can see it cracks over time, but you know, if I have to do this again in another 60 years, uh, I think I'll be okay. So that's that. Uh, we're going to proceed with, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go around and scratch a bunch of this up and see how well we can get it cleaned up. Uh, still got a couple things that I need to pull out of here, a couple screws here and there. Um, both of the seat bolts on the outside are still in the car. Where's that other one? I tried to show you guys. Oh, it's right here. So that's going to need to come out of there. This one will need to come out of there. Uh, hopefully that goes all the way through. That might be a little easier then. Um, but there it is. So uh, we'll move on to the passenger side next. we got to get that seat out. It's only four bolts. And then we can uh, pull that carpet out too. Maybe we'll have some more uh, some more paper in there. Well, got it all out and uh, <clears throat> vacuumed everything up. Nothing much has changed back here, just some of the, the size of some of the holes. So uh, definitely got some work to do. Uh, we'll go over and check out the passenger side because there's some, some good rot <laughs> over there. So let's head over there. So I got this side all taken out vacuumed up um, got a fairly significant hole here and it's pretty soft all around so might be just kind of cutting out back into here and replacing that uh, as we go here that's kind of similar to the other side a little concerning is this big hole in there and uh, it, if I put my finger in there cautiously because it's all sharp and rusty and shit there is a lot of stuff in there um, so I really want to make sure I get that cleaned out well. I don't know how solid, that doesn't seem very solid at all. So uh, I might have some underbody work to do as well to make this perfect. Um, up there, this is kind of a similar story. I don't know why this side's worse, but this whole piece is kind of, kind of soft. So I might have to cut that out kind of back here and do the whole thing. Uh, I think frame rail is right about here. I'm a little concerned about fuel lines, but we'll make sure we don't cut them when we get to that point. So, all in all, not that bad. Take a little work, but we'll work through that in the next video. Alrighty guys, so that's gonna be the end of this video. I uh, just wanted to get the interior cleaned out. Didn't show you guys a whole lot, because you've seen all that crap before. Um, seats are in the back of the car back there. We still gotta pull the back. I gotta pull two screws from the back, and uh, we'll take care of that. But. Uh, all in all, it doesn't look too terrible. It's not like I need a full floor pan replacement. I have one, two, three, I'd say six, seven major spots that need to be patched. And then, of course, up into the, the wheel, kind of where your feet go. Um, so we'll take care of that. Uh, but that's going to be it for today, guys. We're going to do a new video coming up soon. We're going to just wire wheel the crap out of this, see how solid it is, start cutting some holes, and start patching stuff up. So. We're going to tack some stuff in and then seam seal it, and it's not going to look perfect, but it's going to be better than it is now, and then a uh, brand new carpet. So uh, once we get the carpet done, we're going to redo the seats. I'm not going to show you guys that, because I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but we're going to figure it out, and uh, we'll get those put in there. So that's all I got for you guys today. I want to uh, wish you guys a uh, happy new year. Uh, Merry Christmas. I'm a little late, but uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.